I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemistry involved in nucleic acid polymer sequencing. All right, so another way of saying nucleic acid polymer is just to say DNA or RNA. And so each strand of DNA or RNA consists of three main parts. Uh, first, over here, we have the phosphate group. Uh, you know it's phosphate because of this P, which stands for phosphorus. And then the second part is this a six-membered ring with one oxygen, and that's a sugar group. So we have phosphate, and we have sugar. And then the last part um, of each unit of a DNA backbone is uh, our base. And so we know that DNA is normally two-stranded, and so it gets its two-strandedness from hydrogen bonds between the bases, uh, and it connects to form a single strand right here, and this is called the phosphate backbone, and basically the important thing to look for is this little location on the sugar. And so you can see that this is our one unit, phosphate, sugar, a base. And so they connect unit to unit from this bond right here. And so it's really important that this sugar can connect to this phosphate group. And it does that because of this oxygen. So right now, this sugar has an alcohol group hanging off of it, and it's ready to connect with another phosphate. Um, and so that's really important, is that remember that DNA and RNA both connect through this linkage. And so uh, there's a bunch of different steps to making DNA and RNA synthetically and doing polymer sequencing. But essentially, what scientists do is make thousands and millions of kind of puzzle parts or pieces of a certain DNA strand they want to make. And then they look at the order of those pieces and they piece the whole strand together. And so uh, what I'm going to explain to you is how we get those actual puzzle pieces. And so what they do, is they take regular bases or regular uh, units and monomers, and this is what we call a deoxynucleotide. So this is regular. This is what's in uh, both you and me. So phosphate, sugar, base. Um, and they actually add in these synthetic versions, which are dideoxynucleotides. And now if you see right here this location, instead of having an OH, it only has a hydrogen. And so this means that it can never form this linkage with this phosphate, and so it will never uh, continue the chain. So as soon as one of these gets in there, the DNA stops growing, and it breaks off and it forms a puzzle piece. And so that's basically how scientists um, form their little segments, and then after that, they add them all up because there's overlap. Um, and it's a very complicated process, but this is one of the most important chemical pieces of it. Uh, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the way to synthesize DNA or RNA and its chemistry.